Thanks. The South African women's hockey team will be participating in the Africa Cup of Nations tournament at Randburg Hockey Stadium from October the 23rd to November the, tw uh, the 2nd. Now, South Africa earned the top spot in the women's league when we triumphed over Tanzania with a 25-0 victory. On the 1st of November, we faced Ghana, and the last time the two teams met, the game ended in a 3-2 victory to South Africa. Joining us this afternoon is head coach Sheldon Ruston, and uh, midfielders Shelley Russell and Nicolene Blanche from their pro and of course from their proud sponsor private property we have CEO Simon Bray welcome Thank firstly you. whose idea was it to steal my personal trainer from me to become one of your <laughs> your coaches that was you Sheldon yeah, hey? it, uh, it was definitely a, a definite good uh, yeah, decision a good to bring him in because he's done a really good job yeah, yeah, yeah. actually he's now working with the South African so rugby team for yeah, the ladies yes now, you are obviously the head coach for this victorious team. What are plans looking like? I mean, what does what your training look like as you head into the Africa Cup of Nations? Um, we've decided to, to change a little bit our approach after Valencia, um, really making sure that we focus every uh, tournament that we go to to focus on ourselves, um, really making sure that, um, you know, learning uh, from the past events that we want to make a difference. So it doesn't matter which event we go into you know, really staying focused on our processes and so forth. So coming out of Valencia, there's been quite a bit of uh, different points uh, that we've, we've brought out. We know what the African tournament is like and sometimes can be quite a difficult tournament to play. Yeah. Um, the quality of the hockey and also the, the types of uh, competition that you go up against is sometimes difficult to play against. So a lot of the focus has been around preparing mentally for that, uh, those challenges that, that we'll face. Um, but also making sure that the hockey that we play is still a very good uh, quality and what we want to achieve. Of course. So it's been the most important. And we are producing some really fantastic hockey players. What, um, what goes into selecting a great team? Um, I think it, it's, it comes down to two parts. Obviously, is, is the quality that they, that they produce um, and obviously what they can do technically. Um, obviously, then from the coaching side is what we want tactically. So um, we've been focusing on our trying to find certain positions and, and starting to to look at players that will take over succession plans uh, for, for players that will start leaving. We have quite a lot of senior players, uh, so if we now start preparing, bringing in youngsters, looking at different talent to come into it. But I think you know speed um, and, and athleticism is very important, um, exactly. but also quite clever in terms of being able to execute the tactics and so forth. So Of course. Yeah. Now, that's obviously from the coaching side, but Nicolene and Shelley Alec, what's it like for the two of you to be actually having to, <laughs> to play and to go through all these preparations? Do you, are you nervous now for the African Cup of Nations? Well, look, I've been part of the team now for about 12 years, so I'm one of the seniors he's speaking about. <laughs> you don't and look it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and um, I must say that, um, you know, as he speaks, new players are coming in all the time, older players are retiring, and therefore you're getting new challenges the whole time. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's fantastic that we, we play in a team sport. Um, the fact that I have Nicolene next to me looking after, you know, all my performances, good or bad, you're sharing the good times and the bad times. I think the team's very excited to, for this um, experience we're about to come into now because, um, as Sheldon mentioned, it is unpredictable hockey. And, um, yeah. you know, the last time we did play was in Valencia and we're dying to build onto that performance. We've been training hard, so we're dying yeah. for this tournament to start. Nicolene, how are you feeling heading into the Africa Cup of Nations? Are you confident? Are you girls all well-conditioned and ready to go? Yes, and when? I, yes, I believe so. We had a great, or are still busy with a good training camp. It's been tough, but that's why we do this sport. It's not easy. And yeah, Africa Cup, it's going to be tough. And it's nice to, to play, like Shelly said, like in a team environment, so you do it together. It's not you alone, so yeah. we are prepared and ready to dominate. <laughs> Fantastic. We're going to be right behind you all the way. Now, Simon, from private property, why the decision to back the SA women's team, women's hockey team? I think it was an obvious choice for a brand like private property. I mean, I think there are two things. First of all, when it comes to property, both on the consumer side and the industry side, women dominate the industry. Uh, it's a really fascinating thing. They're more entrepreneurs. You're a clever man. <laughs> <laughs> Keep saying that. Um, no, but seriously, mm -hmm. uh, on our website, 65% of the people browsing for property at any one time are women. So mm -hmm. that's uh, something we wanted to resonate with if we could. And then on the industry side, I mean, more uh, entrepreneur 
uh, ladies are in property than any other industry in South Africa. So you've got a really strong uh, base of women, uh, great motivated leaders, uh, and we saw the same in the SA women's hockey team. Uh, and then there was a fit as well with the culture of our business. You know, we were a garage startup not too long ago, and we've now become one of the most uh, successful internet businesses in South Africa. So this, this idea of amateurs can be professionals, people with passion can really put their, their uh, heart into something and achieve great things is something that we saw in all the girls and in the management team of, the, of SA Hockey. So we're really behind them. Uh, you know, this is a big tournament for them. They have the opportunity to perhaps go to Rio next year for the Olympics. So we're really uh, we're yes. backing them, and we're hoping that they're going to do very, very well. Good, and we are backing you too. Best of luck. We're definitely going to be um, watching and, and supporting for the Africa Cup of Nations. We hope that you're going to win. <laughs> Best of luck, and thank you so much for chatting to us as well. Jeannie, now, we obviously wish our South African women's hockey team only the best. We're behind you all the way as they take on Ghana for the win. We're going to be right back on Afternoon Express after this. Whether it's your first apartment in the city, a trendy suburban townhouse, or that dream family home on a golf estate, there's a home for everyone on private property. Hello YouTubers, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we've got full episodes available for you. All those really cool interviews we've done, all the cool performances are right over there for you. So all you have to do is click subscribe. It's somewhere over here on this side of my face. Click it right now, do it.